Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is a part of the three-time Grammy Award-winning duo who took the gospel music industry by storm with their upbeat urban contemporary sound that changed the game of gospel music. And they are still changing the game by being one of the first gospel artists to have a reality show on a major cable network. This sister duo knows the sky's the limit, and they know exactly how to encourage you to go get your blessing. Help me welcome Erica Campbell of Mary Mary to the show. How you doing, Erica? And welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. Now, you ladies are doing exactly what the Bible says. The Bible says to be fruitful and multiply. And you guys are definitely <laughs> multiplying. Congratulations on your new babies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think we took those, that scripture just a little bit too personal. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all just multiplying. But God is really blessing multiply the whole earth by ourselves. I know. Because <laughs> in the midst of your multiplying, God is actually adding to your life as well. You have a brand new reality show going into your second season. Can you kind of explain to us how did the whole vision of the reality show come about? Well, we had been having meetings um, all over town about, you know, other shows, other show ideas and things to do. And um, what happened was we took one final meeting and it was about reality, and we just literally sat down and talked about who we are and our family and everything, and when we left the meeting about two, two hours later, we got a call back saying that they wanted to um, do the show, and it moved really, really fast. Um, we went to meet with Sweet TV. They were absolutely amazing, and we felt like they understood us as artists. Um, we were really honest about uh, being willing to show our conflict, but being committed to showing the resolve was what we told them was absolutely necessary. We couldn't have it any other way. And they've honored us. And so it's turned out pretty good. First season has been amazing. And we are filming second season. And it airs December the 13th. One thing I like about your reality show, your reality show is actually bringing real life content with, of course, the, your production of your album, also your baby. So we're seeing your actual life actually being played out, even when you, um, your sister went to the Stellars and you couldn't go to the Stellars. And it, it's just it's a beautiful thing to see. And I like to see the resolve of conflict. There's not a whole lot of messiness that's happening, but we're actually seeing your family come together. You have a sister that's um, got engaged on the show. So did you all plan all of that to be in the show so we can see all of that or did it just happen? No, it just happened. We were filming the show, and um, her then-boyfriend was out here trying to find work, and he told me, he was like, I want to marry her, I want to propose. And I said, would you mind doing it on TV? And he <laughs> said, I'm, I'm cool with it. So uh, we set it up as a family game night, <laughs> and it all went down. Well, you'll actually see the wedding actually take place this season. Oh, fantastic. And in the midst of that, you also recorded one of my favorite jams that I start my morning off to in my studio entitled Go Get It. Some mornings I'm in my studio and it brings tears to my eyes because I'm just like pumped. Tell us about this song and how did it come to pass? No, that song, I, I, sometimes we write songs for people and sometimes we write it for ourselves. And, I, you know, it's the first verse, I think, says it so well. It's like you look into it and tell mm -hmm. us See where you're going to be growing and getting better. You're not the person they see. Can't be mad at the things I've been through because mm -hmm. it builds your muscle. Yes. Now I'm stronger than I've ever been. Can't stop my hustle. Your faith ain't never small. <laughs> That's what brought you this far. You got your dreams and you got your prayers and you got your God. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a season. And I believe this one's yours because you've been working, waiting, and this is what you've been praying for. Yes, so Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's my everyday life, you know, because I know you people see us and they think everything is great and they think people say yes to us all the time and they think everything is easy and it's not, it's so not. And so we have to have that go-get-it attitude every single morning when I'm trying to balance being a mom and being a wife and my business and then my alone prayer time and I just had a baby and I need to be working out and I need to be eating right and, mm -hmm. and my kids go to the doctor, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, just the lyrics in that song, when you hear it, you know, they can't stop your hustle. You know, like when you see your faith, they never spot it small. If people really understand those lyrics, because I'm telling you, I was in my studio. It brought tears to my eyes. It hit me one day like a brick. And it was like God gave me that song. And I, and I feel that that's my song for this season. I know everybody else feel the same way, but I made it personal. 
<laughs> for me. Right, right, right. No, I've heard some amazing stories. There was a football player that tweeted that he listens to it before he goes to practice. There was a couple that tweeted they together have lost um, over 40 pounds because wow. they get up and listen to the song every morning and then go work out. Um, and, and, you know, that stuff, it really encourages me, you know, because when you write in the song, you never know where it's going to go, where God is going to take the song and how he's going to allow it to touch somebody and move somebody, you know? Amen. Now, I know you got a tour getting ready to kick off in October. I know there was one that was canceled, you know, because of the baby. Is this going to take the place of that tour? Um, no, that was a Christmas tour. This will be the Go Get It tour. Huh? It's the Christmas tour, so, you know, God bless that. And the money that's lost, but, you know, praise the Lord anyway. <laughs> no, a- amen. Are y'all coming to Oakland? Y'all coming to the Bay Area on this tour? Do you know? You know what? I'm going to double-check that information and get back to you, but we definitely need to. Please do, because I was giving away tickets for the Christmas one when it was canceled. So hopefully y'all come to Oakland. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So we're we looking forward to seeing y'all. So please make y'all way down this way. I sure would love it. We sure will. Now, I want to talk to you. Um, I know the second season is coming. What can we expect to see in the second season of the show? Second season is all about promoting the record, um, the promotion of the release day, and us getting ready for the Essence Festival, being honored at the Essence Festival, my sister's wedding, more Google with Mitchell, <laughs> we got into it with Mitchell. It's just, ugh. What's yeah. going on with Google and Mitchell? Why can't they get along? What's going on right there? That is hilarious. <laughs> you know, he's pushing hard for his artist. She's doing her thing, you know, and if it wasn't, he, he's not lying. If it wasn't my sister, he probably would have been let go. But it's my sister. So mm. get over it. <laughs> and I don't always play out in a fun way between, you know, just working dynamic group of people. But it's my life. And one of my last questions, how do you manage working with your husband and being a mom? Because, you know, sometimes you have a husband who can go off to work and then you're going off to work and you meet back together. But you actually work with your husband. You write and produce with him and you have children together. How do you balance that? It's, it's good and bad at times. You know, when you go to work and work ain't good and you come home and then you talk about your boss. Correct. Your husband, well, then I can't come home and talk about him to his face. <laughs> I don't like it, but I know that it makes us better. So, you know, in the end, it all works itself out. But I remember one time I was upset and he was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I'm mad at my producer. And he was like, well, I'm your husband. I don't want to hear that. Like, <laughs> no, we, we, we try to work. I have a lot of respect for him and what he does for us musically. He's absolutely incredible at what he does. And he's, you know, help us get to where we are at this point so I, I have nothing but respect for him um, but I'm still a creative person so sometimes it's hard to you know to let all that play out right so when can we expect to see the new season air the new season airs uh, December the 13th Oh, good. We got a date. So we know December the 13th, so yeah. everybody can be around the house for the holidays. They actually even had sneak peeks on Wii TV's website already. Oh, so the sneak peek is on the website, so we can go and check that out. Also, we want to remind <laughs> everyone. Okay, now, is, it, is the entire album complete? I know I have my single, Go Get It. What other songs can we expect off your new project? And you, we got one minute because I'm going to try to uh, abide by the time. So what else can we expect from your uh, new project? Good morning, I believe, is the next single um but that compilation album um is out and doing well and we are going to be working on new music you know we don't know really know how to sit down so we'll be in the studio soon working on new music to put out another record next year okay well i want to thank you so much erica for coming on the show it was a pleasure having you we look forward to having you back thank you you are so welcome and have a blessed day you too we appreciate you very very much for playing our music thank you so much you're welcome bye-bye